Hello everyone, I'm Dennis Wang and I want to share my test for this red clay resin and compare it to the frozen aqua grey 8k resin but before that, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and like this video it may only be a click for you but it means a lot for me and if you want to support my channel directly, you could check the Patreon link in video description and I will start giving monthly release for 3D printable models so please do check it out. For the properties of this red clay resin, it is pretty much the same like any other standard resin. It breaks easily, but it has like of a band compared to the gray 8K resin. But yeah, pretty much like any other standard resin. And for the pigment, after 12 hours, I do not see any separation, which means the pigments can hold very well and this is gonna be very good for a very long duration print. And now for the print settings, both are using the same settings. And thank God I don't have to do a lot of calibration for the new red clay resins. But it seems to me that around the fur area at the face here, the fur details and the sharpness, it appears more visible for the red clay resin. And this is hard to tell, maybe because of the color. And if you look at the back of the head here, the stitching details here is way better on red clay resin compared to the gray 8K. Hmm. It seems the red clay capture better details compared to the 8K resins. And now for this chibi orc from my patron. You look over here, the details for the face. It is very crisp compared to the gray 8K. Yeah, I do not see the details here. And this is the same model printed with the same print settings. Could be this is a slicer error or probably due to every printer does not have a uniform light and maybe I print this chalk here and I place it at a place that has a higher light intensity compared to when I print with red clay but yeah you could tell from the snout here the up sorry I mean the upper lips here the detail seems much more creeps on the red clay resin But if you hold it at an arm's length like this, you cannot tell the difference for the detail. So maybe printing something like a medium size or large object, you will not see any difference. So I print this one six scale bus from my friend. He made this model for his about to coming soon Patreon. And holding at an arm's length like this, I cannot tell or see any different. And especially because this is quite a big object, about 1-6 scale, and doesn't have the amount of details like the previous mini of or the chibi orb that I show. And yes, I do not see any difference at all. But one thing that I noticed is the print on the gray 8K resin seems much more shiny look at around the cheek area here compared to the red clay resin and i believe the red clay resin print very accurate because i designed the tire here with a 0.6 millimeter pack from this tailor pin and it can insert and spun quite freely and there is no jamming which means it has a very good 
dimensional accuracy, at least in my opinion. And another test that I made here is with this joint for the ponytail. I have removed and signed the support marks. And it, 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 okay. It insert very nice, no friction at all, and just sits very well. So I think red clay resin could be a very good alternative if you're a details freak like me. Although I still often print with the gray 8K resin for anything bigger than this mini size here. And what do you think about this red clay resin? Let me know in the comment section. And see you guys in the next video.